So they wear the, wear the big derby oh, hats. We saw Kelly Swift had hers huge, on today. So yeah. it's going to be good stuff. And the rain's going to hold off. You've got Preakness tomorrow, Wine in the Woods. You said Warrior. Warrior Dash, Dash, Maryland Warrior Dash. All right, good, good stuff. stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff and good weather. All right, speaking of that, of course, it's officially Preakness weekend, but today it's all about Black Eyed Susan Day. The proceeds go to the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. ABC 2 News Kelly Swoop is at Old Hilltop. Kelly, tell us what's going on tonight at Pimlico. That's right, Josie, and I do have on my big brim hat, as White and you were talking about. Great day out here at Pimlico, just a great turnout, you know, record crowds probably, and just a special day because a lot of the proceeds here uh, go to raise money for Susan G. Komen Maryland affiliate for the Cure. Now, we want to show you some video because they actually have 13 races today going up to 622. We have some video right now of the 88th running of the Black Eyed Susan Stakes. Close race, a lot of them have been close today, but number seven in lingerie won the race. And you know, what's unique about this is they have lots of special races here today. They have Lady Legends for the Cure. They have the Female Jockey Challenge. And again, all a part of this big partnership that they have here with Coleman, Maryland. Now, let's talk now to Tom Chukas of the Maryland Jockey Club. He's joining us now to tell us how this partnership evolved. Um, we made a decision to make Friday Black Eyed Susan Day. We thought the women, the women's side of this would be a good thing. So we wanted a charity. Susan G. Coleman seemed to be a perfect fit. The people of Susan, Susan G. Coleman in Maryland are just absolutely fantastic. We started with them. We built in the Lady Legends, the Female Jockey Challenge. It, the stars aligned. It all came together. We couldn't be happier, and it's a great partnership. And it kind of kicks off the weekend, the big racing day tomorrow, obviously the 137 running the Preakness, but this has gotten bigger every year. I've been here the last three years, and it's gotten huge. Well, right now, I mean, each year, you're right, it's gotten bigger. I think last year we had about 27,000 people. The way I look right now, I don't have final numbers. We'll surpass that. The wagering's been good. It's a beautiful day. Everyone just, just seems to be ecstatic with the day, and it's a good lead-in for tomorrow. I'm a firm believer if today goes well, tomorrow will be even more, more successful. You couldn't have asked for better weather. No, it was kind of funny. Archbishop.